Hi everyone, welcome back. Back down the unit. The um, reinforcement now is, is fixed. Just a second, turn it around. It's actually fixed. Where did I weld it? This area here, weld it. Yeah, it's not perfect where I've ground it off. It's not perfectly curved to the shape it should be, but it's now added the thickness back into the metal where it's supposed to be. Cleaned it up with a wire wheel as I've shown you, primed it. And the reason I've not welded the um, spot welds that I cutted out is because now when I sit it back in place, as you can see, they're actually gonna sit bang in the right place see everywhere well where there is a spot weld and that's going to enable it to sit in exactly the right place so um, once hi welcome back yeah as I was saying where the old um, spot welds have been drilled out I can now line them back up everywhere which will then allow the reinforcement plates to sit bang in the right place. Also up against the outer piece of the inner wing. Once this is clamped in place, I can then get making um, the sides and then that bit. I've already cleaned one. And, and primed it I've already cleaned it all under here and primed and same that'll sit on there be welded back into place I've then just got to make the bit near my thumb to come round to the front on each side Yeah, you can actually see the amount of pitting in it, but it's solid now, there's no more rust. Oh, so just set the camera up now, and then we're going to start wire wheeling the other one down.
Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Capri. Down here this evening, we're going to start getting this um, strut top or welded in. I've actually now cleaned, cleaned both of them up. I've primed them, so they're both ready to go back on now. I'm in the process of actually fitting the actual strut top. Just to unclip it. Right. Just turn it around for a second. Now, I've actually made something and it did, did kind of work. I bought some cheap mole grips to try it. I've actually got two bits of metal here. These are actually off a proper tool to actually do the step, but it never worked. It was just it's just crap basically. So what I did and welded them to the pair of mole grips. I've actually ground these steps a lot bigger and it worked perfect. The only downfall is the mold grips. They were just cheap crap. You can see here, literally barely any effort really. And they just bent. So I'm gonna get another pair of mold grips, change this, change that, because the rest of it's still perfect. So that's what I'm planning on gonna do. And they should work good. They did work perfect. Now, what I'm choosing with this car is, especially in areas like this, I'm choosing to step tool it, then basically put the repair panel into it. Once it's welded again underneath, you're not going to see it rather than do a butt weld because at the end of the day when you got to think about it all that suspension wants to do when you're going over a speed dump is come through so the stronger it is the better so i'm going to just check you in now see the step that i've made as you can see here Nice step tool. I just had to put a slit in it because you can't bend it around the curve, an edge. So same down there, and same. I've step tooled it there. Then just here. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm only going to butt weld here and here, but just for the prime example that when when that's actually fitted in. Uh, I'll, I'll sort that in a minute, get it bang in the right place. Once it's fitted in, if it's stepped, once it gets near this end, you're going to see a clear difference. So only that bit there is going to be butt welded, then stepped. So it's strong. Same here, step tooled it all the way down and also up the edge. Same again, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do about the curve yet, but we'll come to that when I get to it. Once it sits in place, right. I 
still got to trim a tiny bit off here. But once it's in place, it's clamped. It then sits nice and level with the gap. That's what you'll weld. And once it's ground off, it should leave it remaining strong and nice and level. So I'm going to get it set up now and then film getting it all put on and start trimming it all in a bit better. That's clamped there like so, and that comes down to it. Perfect. Seems good to me. Get rid um, of a few tacks. Just to hold it all on in place. Fully weld it all once it's uh, yeah.
one around the side as well. So all I'm doing is just spotting it. I'm not completely filling up the uh, plug weld just in case it for some reason I have to take it back off. Alright, cool. Now this is what I've got to work on now. Get all this um, in the correct way. Still gotta come back a tiny little bit. And that's gotta be clamped, that's clamped, so that'll be nice and level. That ring follows around perfect. So I've still got to, like I said before, trim a tiny little bit of this off just so the weld sits in there nice. Just what I'm trying to do is the where the circle is, the end of the two circles, I want them perfectly in line. Now I've tapped that back, that hole's lining up perfect now. So that's all good. Still need a tiny bit trimming off. So, mark up. Mm, that is actually level with that hole there. About level there. So now I've got to trim. I need a tiny bit more trimming off. Just enough so it will sit down in the flange pretty good right, like that right, 
Ça, ça rentre bon. Ouais, on a deux, hein. Je fais un truc là. Deux pieds par paix. Take him off if I trim it anymore. That's fitting loads better now. That's good. I'm happy with that. It's going to sit a little bit lower as well once I take the uh, bow off on the back side. Yeah, that's good. I'm happy with that. I might just try and tap that little corner down a little bit. Hopefully that will allow it to sit in right in that corner. Look at that, perfect. Same up there, because there's a step, that'll all be level. So now I can clamp that side so that don't move. Good. Again, this side needs some trimming as well. Right. That looks like it's perfect there. Still got to trim it up here actually, I've just remembered. Right. I'll sort that in a minute as well. That's going to probably be a bit difficult there. Bear in mind, you're not going to see it anyway once you've got the reinforcement on top. But to do a butt weld, then it's got to then go into a step. 
So we'll see how that area ends up turning out. Nice cup of tea. to do is needs a bit more trimming on this side. Where's the pen gone now? Yeah. Ah. Gotcha. Right, trim that off, then I'll show put it back in again. See if I can actually leave it in. Try and get you in on some of this action. At least you can see. Just hope the sparks don't come towards the lens.
big one I'm not. The reason why I'm wheeling this down as well is it's got mine a bit of surface rust on it just because of the damp in the air. Down on it. Just um, gonna panel wipe it down. And that's why you should never just prime. Always clean. Same again, copper primer. Let that all dry while I make myself a nice cup of tea. Then I'm going to join you back in a minute when it's time to clamp it on and start getting this uh, welded in. So I'm going to see you in a minute. Hi, welcome back. Right, um, the strut top is now all tacked in. Just turn you around and show you. It's now all tacked, welded in. Looks pretty good. Once uh, it's all welded in and ground off, then obviously, then what you're left with, uh, like here. 
where you got the step then seam weld it down here as well once that's ground off I mean it's only a very slight step so you're not going to see it plus you're going to have to do a reinforcement um, going over this piece that piece then gets welded over being a V6 shell so you're not even going to see it anyway so really happy with that this lip here obviously still needs to be tacked, tapped up to the inner wing as you can see sitting nice and level see if you zoom in sitting down inside that step and also the weld is sitting inside the step so once you grind the top of the weld off you're still going to have pretty much all the weld in there same again you've got the holes for plug welding so you can get them plug welded so it's all the reinforcement uh, plate underneath is fully welded in the only thing is anyone that knows me would know that I like to seam weld unfortunately with seam welding here it could potentially buckle I'm not saying it will but the potential that it could I don't want to be putting a load of filler um, in it after so unfortunately I'm going to have to still tack weld it like you do in a butt weld I still do a, a full plug weld and stuff like that but as for seam welding I don't know we'll see I might do a bit of seam welding on it but majority of it will be tack welded um, to build it up just for the purpose of it not warping so I'm going to turn it around now and get it filming it alright that's good get in the engine bay 